Hey guys, Adrian here, and I wanted to shoot a video response today. I guess you would technically call it a video response on a topic that um, somebody posted. I just actually happened to see it randomly due to the fact that um, I was searching on Google and I was looking for some SEO stuff, and I randomly found this link um, about somebody something that somebody posted, and I can't duly give credit to who did it or who said it because it was anonymous. It was posted on a site called Pastebin, uh, which is a pretty popular site. Um, so I can't, and if you want to verify who you are and, and you know, all that jazz, um, then, you know, feel free in the comments below. He had some opinions on the video I did a while back about talking about success, and I kind of wanted to clear the air on something and kind of give my rebuttal. Um, I know I've talked about a lot of varying topics and on this channel, and lately that's really what I've been aiming to do with this channel, kind of deviate, because it gives me the ability to do more content outside of technology. Of course, I'm still doing technology content, but you can find that over at Digital Dojos, of course. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and read it now. Basically, he said that, so I've watched Kid Guru's video about success and I got a little pissed off when he said, quote unquote, I'm not successful. Even though he's 18, has a car, earns money by himself, got a Rolex, is doing better than his friends, and WTF, like he said, I'm not right now, but someday I will be. What the, you know, WTF again. I think this is dangerous to look at success as something as I someday will be. As long as you're doing, progressing, and correcting errors along the way, you are successful. If you're trying to follow your heart, you're also successful. I look at it like this. Success is something that you can go earn and re-earn every single day of your life. There is no flippin' end goal. You can always go higher, always strive and push yourself a little bit more. Even if it's just 1% better, you're doing better and you will feel good with emotions. Um, always focusing on what's in front of you right now. Tomorrow could bring even more shit to the table. See, the thing is, see things for the way they are, but don't try to make it worse in your mind. Try to balance out your life. Um, and he goes on a little bit there. Just, nah, that's the relative stuff here. All right, so I want to break this down. He is right in some aspects, and I kind of want to pick this out. He's right when he says success is a ladder, you know, in a sense that you, you have no end goal. And to me, you know, I have big goals for me. And when I want one of them, I always talk about, I want to be a millionaire. You know, I want to hit a million dollars. I've been saving. I want to hit a million dollars before the age of 20. That's a big goal. That's a lot to do. And the worst day is going to be when I achieve that because now I got to set a new thing. You know, a lot of people don't realize it's essentially about the climb rather than hitting, you know, the epitome of your goal. Um, and you continue to set more goals. You're right. And he talks about here how, um, you have to earn and re-earn every single day of your life. And, you know, maybe he's right there in some aspect. But I kind of want to break down other stuff here. So in the beginning, he talked about how I said I'm not successful. Now, something I try to stress in that video and I try to stress every time I talk about this to anybody, success is perspective-based. Now, the generalization of success is viewed um, by the dollar value. What I mean by that is usually, typically, when people view success, they do that in a value of, you know, people who have a lot of money or who do big, big things are typically those who we view as successful in society. I mean, it's just how it goes. You typically don't see people say, oh, that janitor is successful versus somebody like Warren Buffett or Bill Gates. You know, in their own right, yeah, that janitor is getting by, he's doing what he wants to do, and you never know, you know, in his own right, he is successful. I mean, that's the thing, it's perspective-based. So when I say, quote unquote, I'm not successful, you gotta understand that's from my own perspective of where I wanna be and where I'm going. I still have a lot to go, I have a lot to do. He says here, I'm 18, I have my own car, money, Rolex, etc. That's nothing to me. I think that's, that's, when it comes to success, that means absolutely nothing. The figure value, the money value, my net worth, none of that matters to me so much in terms of success rather than the things I do that will impact others. That matters way more than all these things he listed here. And the thing is, I don't want to be labeled for my success based on the age I was when I did this or that. You know, I'm fortunate enough, yeah, I started young. I started when I was 11, um, 11, 12 years old doing these things and earning money just shortly after. But I want my success to be based on what I did rather than how old I was when I did it, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, just because I have those things and you, you shouldn't view that as success, I think. Just because, you know, they're symbols of success, maybe, perhaps. Yeah, that's the reason I get these brands because I appreciate them and there are symbols of success. But th that's the thing, you know, you, people can be born with means. People can be born into families that are rich and they don't have to work a single day in their lives and they have nice cars, nice watches, all the money they want. That doesn't quote unquote make them successful in my eyes, you know? Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's what it is to me. Um, and hang on, I'm sorry, I'm getting text messages as I read this, but, um, you know, here it says, uh, I think he also talks about, it's dangerous to look at success as something I will be. Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, overall, like I said, in a way, everybody's successful in their own right. But if you're talking about like in terms of financial and stuff like that, this is where I get into this whole, there's what they call the textbook mentality. This, this, 
of success. I, I really think that textbook mentality of success is total bullshit. What he talks about here and saying how if you put your heart into something, you try, most people will tell you that's total bullshit. <laughs> to be honest and you know completely transparent, you can try, 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 but that's just a portion of it. That's just the first step of success because if you're trying and somebody else isn't, then yeah, you're one step ahead. But beyond that, it's hard work, it's dedication, it's time, it's talent and skill, which is something that you just don't have naturally. I mean, sometimes you have things naturally, you know, but um, there's stuff you got to adapt to and learn about. It's not just so clear cut as people try to put it. You can try and you can put your heart into it 110%. It doesn't mean you're going to, you know, make it to where you want to make it to be a success if that's what you want to be. Um, maybe you have the wrong business idea. Maybe you're just in the wrong market. Maybe it's the wrong time. Maybe it's all these other things, you know? I think that notion of trying and you will succeed is total BS. You have to have a whole bunch of things. And that's just not business. That's a lot of things. I mean, a lot of people want to be in the NFL and stuff like that. Yeah, you can practice and practice and sports will only make you, of course, better. But the, you know the percentage rates of you getting into the NFL or the NBA or so on and so forth? Your chances are, are pretty slim. And that's the notion of people thinking, you know, we have this fascination with people who are so unique in, in society. And I think we have to get past that notion of I'm special, thinking I'm special. That's why I don't like to think right now I'm, I'm successful just because I have this much money, this much things, et cetera, et cetera. Um, those are benefits that came with what I'm passionate about. Um, the whole idea of, you know, I'm special, you're not special, you know. I think that there's an interesting study I, I watched on a TED video where they talked about taking these kids whose IQ were based off 150, 150 higher IQ, which is way above average. It's basically intelligent. And they followed them throughout their course of life. And yeah, they went on to do big things, intelligent things. But interestingly enough, a person who didn't make the cut, who was below average of IQ, went on to do way bigger things. He went on to win the Nobel Peace Prize. He went on to do all these crazy sort of things where he didn't even qualify for this cut of this, this research Thing that went on a lifespan of people um, and that's a the thing they in that study they talked about how when we single out people when we tell them they're intelligent or, or successful and stuff like that it tends to create this niche and, and people can tend to create a barrier where they think that they're higher than somebody or that they're in this different set of group than others um, and maybe in some specs yeah, aspects yeah maybe sometimes no because you know I don't like to separate myself all the time just because I need to remind myself I'm just like a lot of other people out there and in life, there's A, B, and C players. And I think a lot of people take that for granted in life. You know, there's people who just see things differently. Those A players who we view as successful, the Warren Buffetts, the Bill Gates, they see things in a total different way. I mean, Warren Buffett, one of the richest people in the world, at one time surpassing Bill Gates, he only earns $100,000 a year. He earns a, six, a solid six-figure salary a year. Yet he is a billionaire because he knows where to put the money. He sees things differently. He knows what companies to buy. He knows where to invest. He knows what to invest in and how much and when to risk it. He has that mindset that people just don't have. And if you try, you can try and try and try, but you still won't have it, you know? That's why he is where he is. If everybody just tried and tried and tried, then they'd all be billionaires, <laughs> you know? It takes a whole bunch rather than just trying. It, it takes, there's so much more behind it. Um, is what I'm trying to get to. What I'm trying to get to is that I'm not ungrateful. I'm not ungrateful for the things I have, and I didn't mean to come off that way to say I'm not successful. I'm just saying to me, right now in life, I have a lot more to go. And you talk about how you say, even if you're doing 1% a day, you'll feel good you know, emotionally. I don't totally agree with that. Yeah, you know, improving step by step, sometimes you gotta inch your way there to the finish line. But you know, for somebody like me, when I have those days where I'm only going 1% a day, this is the business I rely on. I need to be producing at a rate that, you know, I'm beating my competitors I'm, I'm, and, and stuff like that. If I'm going 1% a day, I don't feel good emotionally. I feel horrible sometimes, you know. I, I need to be going at a rate where I can succeed. I can get those goals. I need to be working harder. I need to be working smarter. I need to be working with better people and collaborating and all these things, that these factors that people don't see. If I'm only progressing 1% a day, you know, I, I, in my business, I think I'm not going to get very far because my business is ever changing. My business model in that of technology is shifting and it's never certain. Tomorrow, my whole business can be thrown away. That's the thing. That's that's the thing to, you know, 
these services can go away and I have no method of making money. These clients can go away and I have nobody paying uh, these things I have, paying these things I have off, all that thing. So, you know, success is different to each and every person. I think, you know, just because we have these nice things and I have these things, I'm so, you know, I'm better off in some places that some other people aren't. It doesn't mean I'm quote unquote a success to myself, you know, to me personally. That's why I kind of wanted to get out there. So with that, guys, thanks for watching. Love to hear your thoughts, your feedback. See you guys in the next video.